Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. We are back with a new sketch update and it's version 59 and it brings us a couple of cool features related to open type support. I can't wait to test out with you the latest version, the latest update of sketch because it brings us a couple of cool things that we can do now, a better support for open type fonts and the, the cool features that open type fonts can uh, make use of and uh, I'm very excited to try them out right now. We're gonna open up sketch and I will just show you what this new update will bring. So if you downloaded and installed the new update, you are now able to use, as I said, open font features. Uh, I want to use and try out a couple of those features and I uh, decided to test the, the font uh, data Legrea. Uh, you can download it over here and it also this GitHub page is also giving us a cool introduction uh, for open type font features, especially for, as I said, this font because, uh, and I have a separate, a separate demo here, it's a font that is giving you the ability to show uh, like data visualizations, to have li little graphs in your fonts and to work with uh, numbers. And I think that's a very good and beautiful example of open type. So download this font, then head over to your uh, font book app and install the font. Once you did that, you can immediately jump into sketch hit and create a new text layer, uh, type something into your text layer. In my case, I already have the font selected, as I said, data Legrea, and uh, I just uh, prepare our file real quick, and boom, we have just some text in here. We can just use it for a standard text, text or short text or whatever. You can add any text in here, but you see that there are no really uh, like special decoration features or something like that. But now uh, with the new update, we have a little new menu right here. It's over at text, then open type features, and then we have a bunch of settings in here. For this example, with this certain font, you need to make sure that you have the following uh, settings enabled. You need to have your ligatures um, and all of those uh, different settings that I will show you right now too. So most of them are in German, but uh, just make sure to have the same ones enabled or disabled so you know exactly what we will use for this um, for this font. You can also pause the video and uh, do it step by step in your own sketch file and then uh, you're ready to go. Okay, you saw all the settings. I think the most important ones are uh, liquidures and then contextual, uh, contextual alternates. Um, and then make sure, for example, that you don't have any fractional forms or uh, you don't have any like uh, alternates um, enabled. And, and once you got that, we can scroll down in here on our GitHub uh, page. And by the way, of course, all of the links uh, for this tutorial are also linked down in the video description. So um, I will link you the sketch update, the GitHub page and everything you will need to follow my steps too. So um, yeah, we have a couple of things in here and I know that this page is a little outdated so you can't really see the preview window, uh, the preview uh, image in here. Um, but there are a few examples. For example, the simple graph. We can just copy this code in here and paste it in here. And it should actually turn this little normal bingo in a simple graph. So let's just try out what it does. I pasted my code and for this example right here, we need to make sure to change one last setting because the, the font that we are working with is saying that we are not um, changing like the, the distance between different numbers. It should just be, I think in your language, there should be like no changes or something like that. So the third option in here and boom, you see our text is changing into something total else. So th totally different text in here. Um, and I will explain to you what it does. So let me um, copy and paste this down. So, and change it one setting. So this is the, the code that we pasted in here and I will explain you what it does. Let me zoom in a bit 
so we can get a little better um, impression of the code. So we are starting with a simple B and then we have those separator lines in here and those separator lines as well as the numbers are changing the appearance of the text that we added. So yeah, as I said, it's showing a B and then we have a separator line and then we have a, a, an I and a number one um, after the, uh, before the, the I and after the, the, the line in here. I think you can add such a line hitting Alt and 7 on my keyboard. Um, maybe it's the same for you, I don't know. But what it does basically is it is separating um, the different letters that we have in here. And in this, for this font right here, it's changing the number one or the number two or three, whatever, into a certain point for this graph. So the, the, the number one is this point in here, which means if we go on a horizontal line over here, that after our number, uh, after our late letter O, we should be at the same position and in here in our little code, you know, you also see that there is a one. Same for number uh, two before our letter G. You see that it is slightly above our number one before the G, it starts there. And then before our letter O, it is also um, just at this position, like if you have a a like axis it's not on uh, like level one but level two and then we have as i uh, as you can see here a number three before our letter n and this is of course a level higher and it's all like separated using these lines so we can just um oops we can just try something else okay i'm gonna copy this code in here and we are gonna write down Let's try out Maxco, and we are gonna change the we're gonna change the, the code. Um, I want to have a graph starting at level three before max uh, before letter M. Then I add a separator line, and then it should go all the way down to zero. I think zero is a uh, okay value too. Let's just try out something really quick. Let's just uh, hop up, like hop up and down with our um, graphs in here. So we need a, another separator and a zero. And this right here should actually just hop up and down like a line. Gonna select it and gonna enable the right feature in here. No. Uh, number distance or something like that in English and it's not working. So friends I got a little bit confused because it didn't change my text and the code that I wrote in here into the proper graph font um, and then I checked back into this documentation and found out that you are only allowed to use lowercase uh, letters so I changed them all up. Now if we, if we select it and if we correct one of those settings into the correct one we are now seeing that we actually have this line that we added and we can of course uh, even increase the length of it um, to make it more symmetrical and so on. Uh, and you see that it is pretty easy to create beautiful and like, I don't know, decorative fonts in here. But let's check out what else we can do with our code in here. Um, we have some min max indicators. I don't really know what is happening because we can't see the preview image in this documentation, but I still find, I think that um, this font is really like valuable. That's why I'm gonna just copy and try out some stuff in here, okay? So we have a graph and then there is a plus, like be just before the N or between I and N. And you just see that it's added in the code in here. Uh, then there are neutral spaces and we can just try it out again. And you see there is a like spacing between those two words. It's the neutral space and uh, we can do even more. So there are so many examples 
let me copy this down here and just try out another one. And you see those um, those uh, legends. We have like a X uh, axis legend, and then we have a um, Y axis legend. Can copy this code again, paste it in here. And I'm not sure if this is displayed correctly, to be honest. Um, but you see that there are so many possibilities that you can now use using open type features in Sketch. Of course, there are many more options that you can all use in here. Um, some smaller ones to customize your text uh, settings. Um, but for this font, and I wanted to give you an example of what creative uh, things you can do in here. For this font, you have to use the fonts that I showed you at the beginning of it. Um, it's a pretty good example, actually, to show you how you can use it. And as I said, you can, of course, add new letters to it. For example, um, you can now go and add more words to it. Bingo slash one slash o slash uh, not, not not slash but this separator line i don't know what um name it has um and then separating oops separating the context and to a three so you can just customize it customize it how you want it's a super cool update because it's giving us um the ability to work with those open type features and this i think like for this font, I'm, I'm really in love with it because it's super creative and fun to add your own customized um, code in here. As I said, you can simply show the original code by going into one of those settings and changing, for example, this one to a like wrong setting. Um, then you see the whole code of it. Uh, and if you want to like change it, you can do it in here. Or you can also, of course, enable the correct settings in text. Um, and then like have a live correction or um, a live write up. But, but I also enjoy writing the code itself, then turning the settings into the correct ones and showing like displaying the, the result. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty fun. I think Sketch also added some other new things. Let's read in here version 59 also bringing uh, variable font support. Uh, then it's giving us uh, other things that are smaller. These are the key features of version 59. Um, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, it's not the biggest update yet, but I think they will bring something pretty big for version 60. I can't actually wait for version 60 because I think version 60 will be something big. Just because of number 60 in comparison to 51, you know. Uh, I think it will be big and we can be pretty stoked about it very soon, I guess. Um, but this is just an example of the current update. Uh, of course, also on our layer panel, you also see the actual um, code that we wrote in here. And here you see the live preview. Um, if you want to try out more, of course, you can use, as I said, the link down in the video description. Try out all of those examples in here. And I think maybe it's also a funny, uh, like a fun thing that we can see the preview uh, because we are getting a little bit excited about it once we paste it into our sketch file. Um, so there's a little surprise there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video showing you Sketch 59. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe to this channel, hit the thumb up. And if you even enjoyed it more and if you want to support me even more, you can become a member of this channel and get a couple of cool extra features. So make sure to check that out as well. It's right next to the subscribe button. So thank you guys for joining this video. We will be back with a new one very soon. Hope you enjoyed it and we see us in the next one. Bye.